Welcome back everybody to another episode of some building big with germ. How's everybody doing today? In the last episode we got started on this this new mountain range and I've done a ton a ton of work since the last episode and I think it's looking so so good I am loving it in today's episode we're probably going to be doing a little bit more work on the on the uh on the mountain I don't know why I couldn't think of what it's called be doing a little more work on the mountain probably added in some trees and then bone meal in a bunch then I also want to work on the throne room of the castle. That's one of the last main things we have to do in the castle here. Obviously, oh, we got to do the roof too. Whoops. We do still got to do the kitchen from the last episode. We did the uh, dining hall here, but we didn't get the kitchen done. Uh, so I got to do that as well. Also, I got to fix some of those blocks in the roof. Uh, but this again, this is probably going to be if I if I do have time at the end of the episode, maybe I'll throw it in. But uh, it'll probably be either next episode or again off camera. But yeah, the throne room and the mountain, the trees on the mountain are going to be the main focus for this episode. And you can see I got a lot, a lot done off camera. I did a lot of streaming. I didn't do, I don't think any time lapses of this section. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that because we don't have replay mod right now. So it's a little bit difficult to do. It's a little bit difficult to do time lapse of the, time lapses of this type of stuff, especially while I'm streaming. Oh God. Okay. Not going under there right now. So if you do want to see a lot of the mountain work, you'll probably have to go see it over on my Twitch channel. Uh, otherwise, I might do little time lapses here and there, but the majority of it is probably not going to be time lapse, unfortunately. At least until we get the replay mod for 117, which is probably going to be quite a while from now. So it may not even may not even happen by the time we finish this uh, this whole mountain range, to be honest, because we have a long, long way to go for this mountain range. If you've seen the streams, you've probably seen me show off the plans for the mountain range. And what I have planned right now is going to go all the way over to about the edge of the uh, uh, taiga biome here. I think it goes into the birch forest just a little bit. But yeah, it is going to be massive. I'm going to have to tear down this entire taiga biome. Uh, so I have room for this this mountain range. It's gonna be crazy It's also gonna be kind of a good thing though Because I'm gonna need a lot of spruce and a lot of leaves a lot of spruce leaves for building up all the trees That are gonna go on this on this mountain range So it's not gonna be so bad, but it is still gonna be quite a task But speaking of that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start working on some of the trees for this area I think I'm gonna have to do a bunch of material gathering first uh, so it's gonna be quite a while for me before I get started on that, but I think we're gonna go ahead and jump into a time lapse of me building up some of the trees for this area. All right, we're back and I've got some work done here a bit a bit of work with the trees and uh, Finishing off the mountain actually there was a bit that I didn't finish all the way back here right there uh, For this this chunk that I'm that I'm knocking out Yeah, I got a bit of work done on here and not nearly as much as I want to we're gonna have trees going all the way up Pretty much everywhere the grass is there's gonna be trees for the most part, but yeah, I wanted to get a lot more done, but I decided not to because I think I want to work out the interior and then I also decided 
to start tearing down this forest over here. You can't see it from here, but let's fly over here. So I'm getting started on the leaves. I think I'm going to do all the leaves first, and then I'll start knocking out all the logs. I think that'll be the best way to do it, so I don't have a, just a mix of items in my inventory. Also need to knock out this forest here, but I don't think that should take too long at all. But this is where I'm putting all the leaves. I'm going to need eight double chests of leaves, of spruce leaves, uh, for all the trees that I'm going to be putting on this mountain. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong about that. That could be including some other stuff too, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's right. So yeah, that's why I'm collecting, or that's mainly why I'm doing this the way I'm doing it. I want to be able to get all the materials I need first this time, and then we'll come back through and get, uh, and get them all built up. Another thing I'm still needing to work on is this, bone mealing. I need to go around and bone meal this entire place pretty much, and... I don't know, I don't know what flowers I want to use. Maybe dandelion. You know what? This is a good mix. Dandelions with azure bluettes. I really like those two together. So maybe we'll do that, but probably not the red ones. But yeah, this is a big thing I'm going to need to do, and I'm already out. So I'm going to have to do, I think I have a skeleton farm somewhere. I think. I can't remember. But definitely going to have to farm up a bunch of bone meal uh, so we can get that all done in the future. But yeah, besides that, it's, it's coming along. It's coming along pretty good. I've been checking the plans for this mountain range. If you don't know, I planned it all out with a world painter ahead of time, and I'm just going in by hand and building it all in manually uh, into this world. But I went ahead and checked my plans, and I believe the mountain is going to go all the way to here. And if I crank my render distance up, yeah, you can kind of get an idea. Oh my gosh, that is so far away. I just put it up to 21 chunks and you can barely see the edge of that. Let's go all the way to, let's see, what could we go to? 30, 32. Let's see, let's just see what happens here. Obviously going to be framey. Okay, it's loading in. I wonder if we'll even be able to see the castle from here. Oh, there's the village. Man, it'd be so nice if we were to play, if we were able to play at this render distance. But yeah, it is going to be a big, big, big mountain range. And like I said previously, I don't think, I think we're going to focus on, okay, let me, let me turn down my render distance real quick. So like I said previously, we're going to focus on the section you see from the village first. And then later on, we'll get into the mountain range, like back there. That'll probably be more of a grindy project that is mostly done over on Twitch. I mean, most of it is already going to be done on Twitch anyways, but that'll definitely be mostly Twitch for sure. But yeah, that section there. And then this section over here. But I've already talked about all that, so let's just go ahead and hop into the castle here. Yeah, we're going to hop over here into the throne room, and we're going to get started on this. I'm very excited to get this done. I, I really, really like how this throne room turned out. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get started with some andesite and some poli wait, no, polished andesite and smooth stone. So we're going to do a checkerboard pattern just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that throughout the entire build here. I think this is actually wrong. I'm not actually sure. But I'm going to go ahead and do the checkerboard all throughout the, the entire room here. And we'll be back once I got that done. All right, there we go. Got the floor in. Now we're going to take some quartz. I went to the nether, mined up a bunch of quartz. I even got a bunch more in uh, storage right now. But we're going to take a bunch of this. Uh... I don't know how much. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a stack and a half of this. And then we're going to go all around the edge at the very bottom with this quartz brick. So yeah, we'll do that there. And then we're going to go all the way around right under all these smooth stone uh, blocks. So I'm going to do that really quick. All right, got that all in. Now we are going to go in with smooth quartz, every other block like this. And then in between that, we're going to do white concrete like this. All right, got all the walls up. I also need to put this window in. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. You know what, let me do that really quick. All right, there we go. Good, 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 good. All right, now let's get back to building. So I got all the walls up and it's looking good. I'm a little bit worried about the ceiling. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this because it's all copper on the inside of the ceiling too. Uh, so we may have to just hold off on that, but I put down these cobblestone blocks to lay out where the pillars are going to be. So we're going to put one of these here, one of these here. We're going to put one of these on each cobblestone block here. And then if you don't know, in my texture pack, I added a different texture for when you stack slabs together. So for stone, I made them a pillar, a pillar texture. So we're going to do that all the way down 
uh, each of these each of these blocks we're gonna go up about I think five or six blocks I can't remember for sure uh, but yeah I'm gonna do that really quick okay I'm here in my sheep farm my massive beautiful sheep farm and I just realized something that I don't think I ever knew was in the game I mean it must be new for sure but when I die a sheep there's a sound now I had no idea that was a thing that is so strange. I had no idea. Interesting. I mean, I, I like it. I like it, but that is that is weird. It's very weird. Had no idea. But all right, let's go ahead and head back over to the castle and continue working on this build. So I needed the wool because I'm going to make a little design here in the floor with the glazed terracotta. Uh, let's see if I can figure out how to place this. I think we need to do that, that, and that. Yeah. And then we'll do this direction all the way down on this side. Then we'll do another little loop here and then this direction all the way down on this side as well. And then we're going to grab our orange wool, go all the way down the middle here like this. And then make some carpets out of this. That should hopefully be good. And we'll do something like this all the way down here. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks good. I think that looks really, really cool. I feel like I don't use glazed terracotta enough and I think it's perfect for like a, a fancy carpet. Uh, so yeah, there is that. All right, the last thing we're going to do together here is the throne. The rest of the decoration, I'll probably just go ahead and do off camera really quick. But let's go ahead and do three spruce, no, dark oak. Dark oak slabs here like that. And then we're going to do one full block there, one there, and then two like this in the back. And then we'll do a cyan wool there and there. And actually, uh, let's just fill this in like that. Just do it a little cheating, no one will ever know, because we're just going to cover carpet right over it. Now let's go ahead and actually put a full block here so I can place an upside down stair there, and then one there. Break those and then replace the carpet. And then right in the back here we're going to do one cyan wool, two light blue wool, and then one cyan wool on top of that. And then we'll do the top of that in a minute. Then we'll do double slabs here like this, some stairs like this, and then upside down like that. And actually, I think we'll do another row of upside upside down stairs like this here. And then I believe slabs on top of that. And then we'll do a double slab there and full slab there. And actually, I think this will be stairs. I think. Could be wrong about that, but let's see how it looks. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. I really, really like that. I think that is a little bit different than I actually uh, originally planned it to look, but I actually like this better, I think. Yeah, that is our throne. I think it looks super, super cool. Once we get some decorations in here, this room is going to look even better. But just right now, I think it looks pretty cool. But I think really quick, I'm going to go ahead and decorate up all the walls. Again, I don't think we'll be able to finish the ceiling today. Probably not. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and quickly decorate up all the walls and the rest of the room. Maybe add some supports going up to the uh, through the ceiling there uh, using some stone or stone bricks. I can't remember exactly what it is, but... Yeah, do some of that, and then I think that'll be it for this episode. All right, there we go. Got it pretty much done. Obviously, again, need to do the ceiling and the roof, but besides that, everything else is pretty much done in here. And we can go ahead and light up some of these candles real quick. Got lots and lots and lots of candles around this area. It's unfortunate that these were removed from the main update or the full, the full 117 update. Uh, but thankfully, you can still craft them with uh, some data packs. So yeah, that is that. I am going to have, I think, somewhere around here. Uh, actually, I think right here. Uh, we're going to have some paintings. Uh, so we can actually hide some lighting in there and give a little bit more detail there. But besides that, we're pretty much done. And I'm fairly happy with how this turned out. Actually, I forgot to do that and that. There we go. It looks a little bit better. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with how this turned out. It does feel a little plain, I'll be honest. Um, but I might have some ideas for ways I could fix that up. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to definitely try some more stuff in here, I think, uh, to add some detail, especially like in this area here feels pretty empty. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I can do about that. But again, that is going to do it for this episode. Man, this mountain range, it really is. <laughs> the, we've made some pretty good progress. Uh, not as much progress as I would have liked, but this is, this is still a massive chunk little massive chunk done like just an episode or two ago this was all this this is all just plain empty terrain 
And now we got a giant mountain here. That's pretty impressive, I think. I think something I would like to get into once we're done with the castle, because we are actually very close. We got like one or two interiors to do, and that's pretty much it. But something I would like to do in, in the next few episodes is start some caves, some custom caves. I think that could be pretty cool. Maybe like right here would be a good spot to start one. But yeah, if you guys have any other ideas, let me know in the comments down below. And join the Discord. You can even send screenshots in there if you have any, any uh, screenshots for inspiration. But yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are liking the progress that is going on with the castle and the, I mean, the, just this entire area. It's really, really starting to come along, I feel like. But again, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you.